it's really interesting because in order to interact, in order for the agent to interact with the world, you need two things. You need communication protocols between the agent and services. You want an agent to order DoorDash. You need to, you need to have DoorDash. You need to have them talk to DoorDash. You want to search the internet. You need to have them talk to the internet. If you want them to work with another agent, you need to have them talk to the other agent. That is accomplished by the internet and like kind of other types of protocols. The second thing is you need to and you need to have them be able to transact with each other. Right? You need to be able to, they need to be able to pay DoorDash. They need to be able to pay another agent. They need to be able to pay, you know, a, another service. How do you do that? Agent can't have a bank account. Sure, maybe you give them your bank account, but like, even if you give them, but one, you're gonna have multiple agents, you can't give them all bank accounts. Two, your bank won't let your agent use your bank account. Number three, even if you give them a bank account, how do you pay someone? If you have a bank account, how do you pay someone on Twitter? You can't, right? You, there's like no way to do it, right? So crypto is fundamentally the rails that AI is gonna run on. It's like, it is the financials. It's even more than humans, crypto was made for AI because AI cannot get a bank account, AI cannot walk into a branch, AI cannot have a checkbook, and, and, and this is the way it's gonna be built.